Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis J. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button when you, before you leave. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, and thank you for watching my video. So in today's look, I am going to be doing my makeup with products that are currently my favorites, like my Holy Grails. I know that they probably don't do Holy Grail videos anymore, but this is kind of but not... A holy grail video not really because <laughs> we all change like seasons so i'm going to just be showing you guys my favorite makeup products that i currently love right now so i'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then when i come back i will do when i come back i'm going to show you all of the products that i i'm using all right y'all i am back okay so excuse this little hump because i have twists in my hair and i don't know how to braid and i tried to braid it was a disaster so the first product that i am going to go oh i did my eyebrows off camera first product that i am going to go in with that i just absolutely love is the foundation so the foundation that i really really love and i need to go get some more of is the born this Too faced born this way And I am in the color Mocha. This is undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and it says that it's oil free. But this is like my absolute favorite foundation. Why is it my absolute favorite foundation? Honestly, I can't really tell you. I think I, I like the fact that it is full coverage. And I'm not a full coverage girl. I like the fact that it's full coverage. It covers any blemishes, aka this is why I did this. But I also I um used LA Pro Girls any color. What color is this? Orange. I said red last time. I used I used the orange color corrector to yeah to um get that mark off because I had a pimple in it. I have a mark there. This foundation is I don't know. It's it's I love her. I'm gonna take one pump on here. I love her. I think I like the fact that I like the fact that I don't have to use so much of it. And yes, it is a high I guess it's still affordable in my book. Thirty dollars, I guess. I mean it's affordable in my book. Um thirty not thirty dollars. But I really like it. I like the fact that it's visible. Um it is a little matte, but it's not too matte you can a little literally a little goes a long way with this foundation and i just freaking love it i love the coverage on it and even if i wouldn't have put like any color corrector right there it would have still covered it and that's really what i freaking love about this foundation i think what i really love most about this foundation is that even if i don't put on any concealer or anything I could just walk out the house like this. Next product is still in the Too Faced. It's still in the Too Faced Born This Way collection. And it is the concealers. I this right here was the perfect. I am in the color warm sand. And sometimes I use toffee as my um contour. But other times I won't. Um, I haven't really used it. So I'm not going to show y'all that. But I'm going to show y'all what I really, really be using. I love this concealer. Um, I was using Tarte. A uh, shape tape. At one point. And then I learned about this concealer. And I freaking love this concealer. Because it goes on like butter. It blends out really really good really really good like the consistency i like the formula of this it's not too heavy like I, and that's why i like the foundation too because the foundation is not heavy it's very lightweight you can build on it you can wear it without anything else it's just like perfection to me it's like whatever concoction they did to this they just need to keep doing they did come out with some new concealers but this concealer it is literally like chef's kiss to me. It's so perfect. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and let this sit on my face. And while this is sitting on my face and drying, I am going to go in with my contour. 
So the contour that I like to use is from Juvia's Place and this is the Deep Dark and this is the color Zambia. It looks like this. That's how much, it looks like this. That's how much you know. I freaking love this, this contour. It's really a foundation stick. So I'm, I just take some, I put it on a brush, an angle brush, and then I just go ahead and tap it wherever I want my contour to be, whether you want a high, low, it all is relative to you. I'm gonna I put it on with that now I'm gonna take a different brush and then I'm gonna blend it out Now I'm going to go in, and honestly I don't have a favorite brush, only favorite brush I have is this e.l.f. Um, foundation buffing brush, chef's kiss, I freaking love that brush. I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, blend out my concealer, and I don't use anything else, I don't add anything else to it, I don't add no water, don't do all of that, I'm just going to take a, what is this? setting brush i have two of these i like using setting brushes other um, rather than beauty blenders but you can use the beauty blenders if you want to i used to use beauty blenders but i found that the look that i was actually looking for was was um orchestrated by a brush and not a beauty blender but you can still do a beauty blender if you want to there's nothing wrong with it i just prefer a brush it's all about preference so once that is nice and tacky, I'm going to go out the ends first and then um, bring that out. And then I'll go back on the inside. I'll go back in where there's more product left and then I will do, yeah. So it's kind of like dipping in and going back, but... Yeah, it's just a lot smoother. The edges are a lot more blurred and you it doesn't look like a line of demarcation on my face, but it looks like it's going into each other. I like for everything to look like it's flowing. For my favorite setting powder, my favorite setting powder at the moment is my Laura Mercier setting powder and this is in the color Translucent. This, I used to use Aerospun no shade air spot but this is the best setting powder freaking ever I forgot to contour my nose so I'm going to go ahead and do that now I have not tried Huda Beauty I have not tried one size but for me this is the best setting powder and I don't know what it is that they put in this powder but it's just so freaking soft um it goes on really really nice I don't get anything else but what I like to do is mix it with my revolution banana powder let me tell you I know I probably could just go and get um and just get the banana one but I don't know for whatever reason this mixture just works for me just take it put it in the top and then mix it like this and mix my powders together and then I go in with my little uh, buffer that I got from Amazon because I was watching our nail uh, video one time and honestly I think she really put everybody onto this because I see nobody really talking about this until she had got it so I'm gonna take it put it in here I like to tap the excess off. <sighs> Listen. Zoom in. Listen. If you don't get nothing else, get this powder puff and get this powder. It's going to change your life. I freaking love it. Like, 
it goes on so effortlessly it looks matte when I put it on it sets everything in place my makeup does not move and I love it like I really really do I don't bake you know everybody's not baking but honestly and truly I do not um I set under my eyes and I don't know why I just decided I didn't want to do all this extra stuff today. I sit under my eyes and then I just wipe with like my face powder. And the face powder that I use is the Black Radiance Soft Focus and Finishing Powder and Creamy Bronze. That's the powder that I use. I have been using this powder for the longest. It has not steered me wrong, so I have not steered away from her. And it is an affordable brand. I think this was like $7 if I'm not mistaken. I think $7. All of the products will be linked in the description box below for real this time. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take my, I think this is Wet n Wow. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but I'm going to take it. I used it before, but I'm going to take this and then I'm going to go ahead and sweep the powder off of my face. So the next product that I'm going to use to set my contour is the Juvia's Place Bronze Dark. And the color that I use, obviously, is the lightest um the lightest one um this one i use a light hand well i attempt to use a light hand and then go ahead and just fluff her on out then in it, with the same palette i am going to use the same color because i'm not i don't know lately i haven't been really wanting to like wear eyeshadow i've been dibbling and dabbling in it but only for tiktok purposes but the older I get, not the older, but like as the years progress, I just like a good little brown color on the lid and call it a day. Because you got places to go. This is your this is your go-to look you gonna be doing. So I mean this is as close as I'm going to get to the no eyeshadow eyeshadow look. Next product that is my absolute favorite is the Essence Lash Princess. This is my absolute favorite mascara. I was not really a mascara girl, but this is a mascara that you can literally put on and don't have to put on lashes. Priming my lashes first and then putting on my eyelashes and I am finding that I am loving it a lot better doing it this way not many people do it it gives me kind of like a a landscape of how my lash how it would look without having falsies or how it would look with them and i actually love it and then the lashes that i absolutely love I linked them in the last video in the last video before so you could go check it out i don't have an amazon um storefront so i'll just link all of the things it's my amazon lashes i'll link them down below i freaking love these lashes so much that i just rebuy i just have them send them to me monthly because i love them that much i'm gonna go ahead and prep these lashes to put them on and i'll come back and i'll show you my blush my blush that i freaking love right now that is a favorite of mine that i just absolutely cannot put down is my blush rouge my blush rouge volume one palette and i'm gonna go in with this uh right here i don't know why i love blush now the thing is is that i used to not be that girl a blush girl but now baby you can't catch me without blush it just adds so much dimension to the face it shapes the face a lot more to me it's like another um contour 
but with color like it's not listen I don't know some people said that they couldn't get into the Juvia's Place um, blushes but let me tell you this is my absolute favorite one I feel like this one this palette in particular this one not the um, other one that I have I think this one in particular will work if work better for um, if you have darker skin and it will show up and properly melanin it me just try it and see if you like it everything about makeup is preference um, nobody can't tell you what it is that you like about something nobody can't force you to like something if you don't because it's either it works for you or it don't and this just happens to work for me so I really 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 love this one and I've been, been enjoying all of Juvia's Place's new releases with their makeup so far down to the lipsticks but I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyelashes off camera and I'll come back and then I'll show y'all the lips that I freaking love so far so I prep my lashes, I put my lash glue on my lash line. If you don't know about that trick, you should try it. I think I did it in my last video, so you will see it, okay? Now, my absolute favorite highlighting, highlighting loose palette is from the Crayon Case, and it is the Glow Cane. I think I use this in almost all of my videos, if you have seen them on my, um, on my YouTube, I use this powder. Oh, you can see the little shimmer right there. A little goes a long way. I have used this powder since I've gotten it, and I've been so freaking obsessed. I haven't gotten another one. Um, of course, I have another one of hers, but this is just one that I just freaking love. Like, I just freaking... Do you see that? <laughs> I don't know. No other powder... No other highlighter does it for me like this. Now, I know that you're going to say that this may be a little extreme and I probably only need one, but I beg to differ. I love all of these setting sprays equally, but I, I love them in combination together. Together, this is my big three. My big three consists of Morphe, Steam, and Mist Spray, and I got in a mini one because when I, when I travel, I want to be able to take this with me. I have the Professional by Benefit, Chef's Kiss, the Urban Decay All Nighter. And this, I heard good things about it, but I never used it and I never tried it. And this right here, on her own, nobody can touch her. I'm going to lips because the amount of time that it took for me to put these freaking lashes on, should not have happened. Favorite lip liner so far is the Juvia's Place Luxe Liner in the color Cola, but I also like brownie too. But Cola is like my go-to color. Um, I got three of them. I got Cola So Rare. I'm gonna try So Rare see if I like this one. Um, it's like it's showing up. It's not really showing up. No, I like a dark brown. Not so rare, but a uh, cola. And line my lips. And this is the butteriest lip liner I have ever used. And do these face like let me tell you. You thought that their eyeshadows it's the lip it's the lip liners for me. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. to tell y'all about this line. I like to like overline my lips like a little bit. And at this point, you can just stop and put some lip gloss on. But I like to go on with their lipstick, the Juvia's Place lipstick. 
and this is in the color lady it is like a little pink a pinkish nude and it's just okay no not a pinkish nude it's just like a nude and this is my favorite lip i'm telling you like my freaking favorite then to top it off i have like a whole bunch of them that i like to top it off with but my favorite 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 one to top it off with is the nyx milky gloss in the color milk and honey this is how it looks and it's like it's like my absolute favorite this is the best lip combo like freaking ape ever so i'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair off camera and then i'm gonna come back and show y'all how i look with my hair curled all right you guys that is the end of this video so i finished curling my hair off camera and baby let me tell you she is giving va va voom and I love it. Girl, because I tried to do like a little side part. I tried to do like a little side part and it was not working for me. But that is the end of this video. Let me know if you like this video in the comments. And until the next time, thank you guys for watching. And girl, if you watch all the way to the end, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Because why not? Thank you guys again. Bye.